We're going to talk about using touch sensors with the robots now. The Lego touch sensor is, is a push button switch. When it's out, it actually feeds the robot the number zero in the program, and if it's pushed, it reads it a number one. And if you use the view on your NXT, you'll see that. It has three basic pin holes to attach it to your robot and the connector at the back for the wire. The default is to connect it to port number one on your NXT. The NXT version of the touch sensor does allow you to put a pin in the front if you want an extended range as we show here on this robot. You have to make sure that when you've attached it to your robot that it has a low enough profile that it's going to hit whatever it is that you're aiming for. In this particular case, as with the others that we've shown, we're going to drive this, turn the motors on, run it until it's touched, and then stop the motors. As simple as that. Now, this is probably the easiest way to attach a touch sensor to a robot, but it does have one problem. And that is, if it hits at too much of an angle, you can see it doesn't give a push, but rather bends the container. And we'll talk about that on a different robot in a minute. But that's your basic touch sensor concept. You put a touch sensor, you attach it to one end of the robot or the other, and it stops when it hits the edge. On this robot, we've got the basic two-wheel drive pivot design that many of you build. What we've done here in order to attach a touch sensor assembly on the front is we have extended this beam underneath to the front, gave us a place to attach the touch sensor, and it gave us a place to attach an upright frame member for the the bumper. And if you look closely, you can see that the bumper has a knob on it which pushes directly in to the touch sensor when it hits the wall. So now, if we run this, it'll run it until it hits something and that is enough to stop it. One of the nice things about this design is that it will stop when you run into a wall at an angle. So this is a little more adaptable than a straight push with an axle sticking out the front. What we have here is your very basic standard NXT touch sensor program. This would be what you would have if you wanted to run forward until you hit a wall or some sort of obstacle and then stop. It's very simple. It's three blocks. The first block simply is going to drive forward by turning the motors on, but you have to set it to unlimited. Once you've set it to unlimited, then the program will proceed or go ahead to the second block. It's this second block that will be waiting for the touch sensor to be pushed on port one. If you need to use a different port, simply change the setting where it's plugged into on the NXT and where you select it on your touch sensor within the program. So you're going to be sitting here and you're going to be waiting and waiting and waiting until that touch sensor on port one is pushed. Once that happens, boom, you go on to the last block and this turns the motors off and you're ready to either continue on to the rest of your program or as in this case to simply stop. When you're using the NXT with a touch sensor, you can see what is being fed back from the touch sensor to the computer program which is inside of the NXT by using the view command off the main screen. When you're in the view command what you'll see is a window that looks like this. Get your battery command up there, the name of your NXT right there and in this window if you've selected touch sensor and you've selected the correct port it'll show either a zero or a 1. If the touch sensor is not currently being pushed, it should show a 0. 
If it is being pushed, it'll show a 1. This is very easy for you to check simply by having it connected and push the touch sensor to see what happens. If you're getting a 0 and a 0, even when you push it, then you either have the wrong port selected or there's something wrong with the wire or something wrong with the touch sensor and you need to go through and try to figure out exactly what it is that's not working.